Redeemer. In the days when Israel was ruled by judges, there was a young woman named Ruth, and she lived in a country called Moab. Moab? Yep, it was right next to Israel. So they were like neighbors. Right. Now, Ruth was married to a man named Malan, who had a brother named Kilian, who married a woman named Orpa. Malan and Kilian were the sons of Naomi and Elimelech. Kili, uh, Eli, Elim, uh, okay. Those names are really hard to say. They are. People had very interesting names back then. But those names aren't the hardest part of this story. Oh no! Is the story sad? It starts out that way. Oh. Before they were married, Malan and Kilian were living in Moab with their mom and dad, because there was a famine in Israel. Do you know what that is? Oh yeah, a famine is when there isn't enough food. Right, and that's where the story gets sad. What happened? After they moved to Moab, Elimelech died. That's so sad. Yes, it is. But then something even sadder happened. What was it? A little while after they married Ruth and Orpa, Malan and Kilian died too. Oh no! So Naomi, Orpa, and Ruth were left all alone. Right. What did they do? Naomi was very sad, and she decided, "I have no sons, and I'm too old to work." So I better go back to Israel, where I'm from. But you, Orpa and Ruth, stay here in Moab, where you have family and friends. So Naomi said a teary goodbye to Orpa and Ruth, and started her journey. But soon after, she realized that Ruth was following her. What are you doing? I'm going to Israel with you. With me? Why? You're my mother-in-law, and I love you. I want to make sure you're going to be okay. But what about your family? I will love your family like my own, and I will love your God. That is so amazing. Ruth was willing to give up everything for Naomi. That's right. God really loves it when we show love like that. Oh. Thank you, Ruth. So off they went together. Yes, and when they were in Israel, they met a man named Boaz. Boaz had a nice house and a lot of land and plenty of food. And I love God. Yes, Boaz loved God. Boaz heard how Ruth had left her family and country to take care of Naomi. So. Boaz decided he should help them. That is so nice. How did he help? Well, first Boaz let Ruth pick food from his fields for free, so that she and Naomi would have plenty to eat. Wow! Not only that, Boaz offered to make Ruth his wife, so she could have a home and family again. Double wow! And that's not all that Boaz did for them. What? What else did he do? He redeemed the land that used to belong to Naomi and her husband. Redeemed? What does that mean? Redeem means to buy back, to pay the price so something or someone can be free. So Boaz bought back the land that used to belong to Naomi and gave it to her as a present. I love this. The story of Ruth and Naomi reminds us about God's rescue plan. Just like Boaz had to pay a price to redeem Naomi's land, many years later, someone would be born in Ruth's family who would pay the price to redeem the whole world from sin. Wait a minute. Do you mean Jesus? That's right, Jesus, our Redeemer. Did you love that video? Hit subscribe or ask your parents to download the Middle Kids app.